virtual people welcome to phantom spotlight's final cobra kai season five prediction video i'm your host pop culture punk chris styles joined by my co-host with the most from rick barth in the line mac daddy mickey torres what's up everyone and we have two radical guests on the show tonight first up she runs an audio and post-production studio has produced dozens of special edition dvds and blu-rays and her newly produced angela the sleepaway camp documentary is coming soon melanie mullen is on the show And rounding out this righteous crew, he's one half of the creative genius behind Retro Fiend Radio, makers of the finest canon and martial arts documentaries on the internet. Their newest canon deep dive, The Making of Invaders from Mars, with stunt coordinator Stephen Lambert, is available on YouTube now. Dustin Nino's on the show. What up, everyone? What up, what up? Thank you so much for coming on and uh, doing this, guys. The final trailer for Cobra Kai Season 5 dropped today, and as soon as I stopped drooling, I knew I couldn't wait to talk about it with you guys and give our final predictions for every character in Season 5. But before we do that, and this goes for everyone in the live chat too, what was your favorite part of the Season 5 trailer? Whoever wants to go first. I'll let one of you guys go first. I already know mine. I mean, I just uh, love seeing Johnny and Chosen together. Right. That was probably, you know, that was the fanboy moment. The like, he's like, like all these like villain daddies like coming together and like, <laughs> villain <laughs> daddies. <laughs> like, here for it. <laughs> there was definitely like a double dragon, like showdown, little Tokyo like vibes. I was just like, oh god, that was incredible. Um, Dustin, what was your favorite part of the trailer? Uh, I think when they introduce the new sensei, the Cobra Kai sensei, and then wow. um, you get a, a little shot of, um, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm guessing that's uh, Master Kim's daughter, because just according to her IMDb credit, her last name's Kim, Kim something. Kim, Kim Dae Yoon. Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming yeah. she's related to Master Kim, so I'm just like, oh, we're going to get, oh, we're going to get finally Master Kim. Uh, yeah, background that's... stuff. I mean, is that coming this season? It feels like it. You know, I feel like there's something coming there with her being there. There's a lot of background. There's a lot of sort of unspoken stuff going on, and then they show her kind of beating the shit out of Tori with the, that stick or whatever. And so, mm -hmm. you know, I think there's some sort of like she's sort of like an he's like the evil Miyagi. If, Mi if Miyagi is all that is good in karate, it it's kind of seems like maybe Master Kim might be the uh, the exact opposite of all that. You know. Like the, oh man the, and i'm the so here it. for it um i've been yeah. kind of obsessed i've been like low-key obsessed with this like master kim for like a long time and hearing the yeah. name get dropped Me again too. in cobra kai is like oh that name is real like mm -hmm. that's like terry silver didn't pull that name out of thin fucking air like that's actually who they trained for you know i was mm -hmm. like who is this guy right. who would train them what would he be like you know did he ever cross right. paths with sato back in the day they both trained soldiers they both did that you know like just my right. mind just went fucking bonkers. Um and right, I'm it. just been a low key obsession. So Mickey, uh your favorite moment from today's trailer. So many, but like one of the ones that like really hit me was the last part where you see uh Sensei Crease at the jail. Oh, okay. Like, and, and then like that whole backstory, like ah, you know, I find if I'm if you're nice to people, you know. <laughs> That was a great uh, button to end on. And I definitely deep dived and dissected like every frame in this trailer, but probably that was the section I like paused and like zoomed in on the most and stuff. Cause like, you know, there's a strange looking guy in that with, you know, red hair. Um, mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, that must be Barnes then. He must be in jail when we first see him. Cause there's some scenes where mm -hmm. this guy's fighting increases and even in the shot, there's certain shots 
where it's like this red haired guy pushing someone against a wall or, you know, mm. you know, you see his legs and his feet and you can just tell that that's definitely not crease or crease stunt double. Um, Cannon doesn't have red hair, does he? No. John Cannon? No. no I, I mean, I always thought he was kind of a redheaded, you know, guy, but maybe not. Maybe I'm kind of colorblind. So <laughs> what the fuck I do I know? A, I had a friend point out as well that there's like a scene where you see one of the Cobra Kai instructors from behind and they have like bleach blonde hair and he's like, oh, yeah, you're Dutch. No, so it could be but Chad McQueen is bald. I don't no, know. You, you see the know he's a choice or or if he's just bald. There's a, there's when the, the scene with the sensei, is, uh, like one sensei I, I spotted off the bat was uh, Tyrone Woodley, the old uh, ex UFC fighter. So he's mm. on there. Right. There's been some talk and of this. Then, yeah. So he's there. And then the, the, the blonde is like an Asian uh, sensei. Like, I don't, I'm not sure who he is. He's the one where Johnny and Chosen get, you know, come to the dojo and they're like, we're here to teach you a lesson. And then you right. see jo Johnny, like, you know, facing off with him. That's him. Right. So that's the, the blonde, you know, here to uh, sensei. A there. lot of a lot of crazy stuff going on to dissect for sure. Oh, um, and, and like like, you know, we talked off air, but we'll talk now is like they did keep a lot under the belt because we yeah. had already seen the whole Mexico trip kind of thing going right. on. And they excluded that, at, you know, from this trailer all the way. You just see like, you know, Miguel and Robbie kind of like you know like not friendly and then facing off you know towards the tail end there and everything else like that so i mean it's, it'd be interesting to find you know, like i just can't wait for that backstory and yeah. then it looks as though that trip even that trip won't make them friends or won't get them to that point so like we're gonna have to get that the end it'll probably be towards the end where they'll finally be you know eye to eye also, a quick note, if you've seen the still pictures, it looks like uh, Daniel's son and wife are training. Right. Mm. Yes. And you saw a little bit of that in the trailer. I was yep. trying to dissect who this last person was in this bowing shot in the Miyagi-Do backyard. And I was like, holy shit, that's Amanda. Mm -hmm. um, that's I know Dimitri. Where's Dimitri? Well, you don't see him in the shot. He might be there. He might be blocked. But I mean, I'm my mind is always racing with wild Dimitri theories and we, we, we will like address every character as the video goes on and make sure we don't leave anybody behind. Um, but I do find it fascinating. We all had different favorite moments. See, for me, my favorite moment was just what seems to imply that Daniel and silver are going to square off. Like that's the moment I've wanted yeah. for a, that's the fight that like, mm -hmm. you know, and we'll get to everybody's like dream fights and stuff too. But just because I've wanted that forever. And I think, you know, cause I honestly, don't know what the hell to expect from that fight i didn't know what to expect from daniel fighting crease and i was like holy shit i can't believe this is happening but with daniel and silver i feel like there's just an appetite there i don't think i'm the only one who's been dreaming of them fighting each other i feel um, like it's gonna be a boss battle like i feel like i said like i, I feel like he's got to get through barnes because barnes is obviously a sensei you could like even from the still shots and pictures that they've released he's in that black you know, uh, gi that that's not all a gi. Of, well, it's not a gi, you know, it's a uh, it's a but, he's wearing a suit with a vest, like a nice, it's like a plaid pattern on the vest. If it's not, it's, in. it's not a gi, no, it's not a it, gi. At it all. looks the same as all the senseis, though. Uh, I mean, it's a little different. The senseis have like red cuffs on their gis now. It seems like a Cobra Kai. I've really like FBI analyzed like all this <laughs> stuff, all the pictures and everything, <laughs> including like cutting solid out solid self black. But I feel like he's gonna have to get through Barnes first like i feel like that's a, that's a surprise it's going to come to daniel when he goes to confront silver you know and then well, I, I think i think barnes will be like you know i got a surprise for you he's like you know how about a little match daniel son or whatever like that and barnes will come out well and, or the or thing. or the, the you know or the other theory that i have is that barnes will be the last man like meaning like we will get him in the end but he won't be a fully developed character till season six so this be a setup for season six if he's a setup yeah. for season six that's like insane that that would release that in a photograph the plot twist ending for the tail end of the season well, i've heard a lot of people say silver, that right? but i don't know if i buy into that um i you do uh, i wouldn't like it it is not a gi you are correct 
It's not a game. Oh, yes. Okay. I know. I've zo- I zoomed in on the picture. I mean, I had to cut out Mike Barnes as the thumbnail for this um, video. Yeah. Or, uh, the overlay graphic, you know. So it's a stuff. black suit. Hmm. And it's a black, it's a, it's a nice black suit. It's got a kind of a three quarter sleeve cuff on his shirt and, hmm. uh, you know, a nice vest and stuff like that. He's obviously done well for himself. He looks like he's moved on from the events of 1985 um, in the Karate Kid universe. It's 1989 for us. Um, but, you know, he's married. He's got a wedding ring. Um, there seems to be a lot different about him. Um, he also doesn't seem to be, he almost seems a little fearful in that image that they released of him. And like, to me, the, the elephant in the room of the trailer today is that there is no Barnes. They dropped it. They dropped Barnes mm-hmm. and it's still an image a week ago. He's mm-hmm. not in the trailer. And that's, I feel like we're all shout out to the big three. Cause they know our minds are all spinning, going nuts. Like, Oh, he, maybe he's this guy in jail or, Maybe they didn't show the UFC Mexico stuff. Maybe that's where Barnes is because he could oh, be maybe cartel. running that whole thing down there with um, well, fucking this leads uh, Miguel's the theory, dad. You yeah, know? this leads to the theory that like he is Miguel's dad, but I don't really think that. No, that's no, thing. I don't think he is. We never think that anyway. Mexico stuff is pretty short lived. Yeah. Um, yeah, it seems like it's gonna be wrapped up by like episode three or something. It'd be awesome though. Or, Miguel's dad was like one of the Salamancas from Better Call Saul or something. <laughs> like, Never seen that show. Well, sorry, but <laughs> uh, lots of Mexican drug cartel action in that. But anyway, um, but yeah, no, I don't. I mean, I really hope that they don't try and go that route of someone from the karate kid the past karate kid universe being miguel's dad i really hope they don't go that no route. it's just yeah i don't i i it, would be like, so surprised if they did they they the show is already filled with so much creative fanfare where it's there but it's not in your face um it's not getting thrown in your face like oh we're clearly just doing this because um it's a throwback to the films um they're all they're all it's all fanfare that works with the story um and at that point if they did that i think they would just be kind of discrediting themselves almost i think so i agree that's a good way of putting it um so i do want to touch on the live chat a little bit i see some familiar names in there angie saunders mike riffraff some new names like Psycho Orange, Mary Polly Cell Phone. Thank you guys, everyone, for tuning in. I see uh, another mash of genius, a couple mash of geniuses, Matt Sharp, uh, A-Dub9099 on Instagram, Anthony Ramirez. Um, so there's some talk here. Um, Angie Saunders already calling it that she's saying it now. Barnes will be in the last episode. Dania and Amanda will have trouble. Robbie and Miguel will make amends. And why are Johnny and Chosen fighting together? Uh, how long will Crease be in jail? There's a lot uh, to unpack there. Um, starting at the top, Barnes will be in the last episode. We kind of already addressed that. I think he'll come in a little bit sooner than that. I could almost see him coming in early and then coming back in the last episode, sort of, uh, get the fuck out of here. I won't join you. And then maybe he joins the other side, whoever was recruiting him. Yeah. Cause I think, that's I don't think he's going to be, yeah, I just don't think he's going to be in the last episode either. I think he's going to be heavily throughout this whole season. I don't see why not. And I think it's really going to build up between him and John happen and that's going to be the sort of the ultimate fight i think that well, you definitely versus know. johnny yeah oh. barnes versus johnny yeah hell yeah because mm, johnny's be not gonna johnny's not gonna like barnes because you Some know alphas, there's all that yeah. yeah well also too is like i'm sure they're gonna get into why wasn't johnny around you know when to to, to you know what was going on yeah obviously we know why johnny left and didn't didn't you know, compete again or whatever, but he's got to hold a grudge against Mike Barnes for, you know, being the new Cobra guy guy. And, you know, even though he lost or whatever, I'm sure back when it was happening, I'm sure they're hopeful to do some flashbacks for Karate Kid 3 and maybe show a young Johnny and, you know, put him in the movie somehow, you know, during the scene that takes place or something where he's sort of, you know, hating on him or something like that that would be cool to want to see too just when they got beef that goes way back well we're missing like some of like you know like for example like we have chosen daniel johnny so those are the three good guys so to speak right so then they have to go up against bad guys and we only really have silver 
and then obviously his senseis will play a bigger role. But I feel like Barnes will still be on the bad side. Maybe he'll be redeemed later, but I feel he he will. It, it will be one of the like you know one of the second calls that that Silver makes would be to probably Barnes. Um, I could see I that. Know. I mean, or, at or, the same or, time... and then you also have you know you know the elephant in the room. You have you know Kreese still in jail, so they gotta get. I mean, like somehow I think maybe um, there's a there's a redeeming or, or a redemption arc that's going to happen with Tori. I feel that she starts off still Cobra Kai. She, you know, there's a, there's a still with her walking into the, the dojo with silver, with the trophy. So she's obviously, she knows it was all set up in this and that she's going to be pissed off about that. But then, you know, silver probably convinces her whatever that maybe even silver says, like, listen, you play nice. I'll try. I'll get crease out, whatever. Um, so she's there, and then obviously you know she she takes that hard, you know, hit, you know, from the 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 sensei, basically because, well, you know, so I, I mean like there's a redemption arc, so I just feel like she's gonna bring, you know, she's gonna get Crease out. Now, do you get Crease out in this season, or do you get him out at the end, and then this the set, you know, sixth season, you got to set something up. But I, I mean like you've got an uneven amount of good guys versus bad guys so to speak, like who the showdowns now have to be kind of, you know, well, see, I feel like that's an interesting point. And again, <coughs> it's sort of a head scratcher that can go either way because like, it looks like Terry has like eight new senseis at Cobra Kai. Correct. Um, yeah. So maybe he doesn't need another one. Maybe it's Daniel that needs another one. Um, and maybe he reaches out to Barnes. Maybe he's going to reaches out. But I mean, I still feel like honestly, just judging from the way that shot, is the still image that we got you see it's a little bit of someone's shoulder and i feel like that's got to be terry silver's shoulder in that scene just because mm -hmm. of like, it fits so right they're in a really nice environment you know what i mean like a fancy restaurant or something it's like somewhere silver you know barnes looks like a successful guy right now you know as far as we can tell but um, i feel like you can't have like as much as we want the showdown you know, maybe we get it, but we don't get a finale to it because the like, you, what do you, you got to set something up for season six. I don't see, I don't think we will have resolution this season because yeah. Yeah, the season six is, is going to happen. Yeah. Um, right. I don't know whether or not it's going to be the last season. I'm starting to feel like it should be. Um, oh, no, no, I think, not me. <laughs> I think they need to, I think they need to start, you know, wrapping it up. Oh, we do forget about Hillary Swank too, though. Ugh. Yes. Uh, <laughs> shout out to my buddy in the chat, Anthony Ramirez. Uh, you know, we told him to watch the next Karate Kid as prep for uh, season five, and he still hasn't forgiven us for it. But uh, <laughs> he also says his favorite part of the trailer is the water parks uh, kind of brouhaha stuff, and then oh, yeah, Joseph yeah. and Johnny fighting together. Of course, again, just like the double dragon. It's just like a fan poster. You know, it's just so perfect. Um, Gold's Code says Cobra Kai is missing out by not having Lamar Luttrell return. Um, he says ultimately <laughs> who they're setting up for season six. Um, let's see. I'm just the the chat is wild today, so I apologize if I get a little bit lost in it. Um, but you know, so I I kind of do think we could run down every character real quick, um, starting with the kids and sort of make predictions. Um, and I sort of you know have a list sort of here prepped. Um, just alphabetically, to be fair, um, what do you guys think is going to happen with Anthony this year? Well, it's I think he's he... going to, yeah, he's going to start training. Yeah, you know, he's going to do all that. Um, he's really, I think, I think really he's going to start doing that part of just training more, maybe working at the dealership, just being more responsible and probably sort of being clutch at certain points. And then they're going to have to weave in his sort of super genius with computers. Probably is going to do something to save the day somehow something. with something I was, he's, gotta yeah. have, he's gotta face off with uh with uh the new bully kid he's gotta kenny. He's, yeah kenny he's right gotta, that yeah. rivalry is definitely gonna continue for sure mm -hmm. yeah um so what about bert is bert gonna get a long major storyline this year i love like bert and nate are two of my favorite characters on the show so the i'm right? say it again they're the little ones, right? They are the little ones, yes. 
I don't know. I uh, I I predicted last year that uh, Dimitri would win the tournament before season four, and I came shockingly close. Um, Mickey was right on his prediction that Tori would win the tournament, although that was a cheat, and there may be a new tournament based on the trailer. We'll get to that in a bit. Okay. Passing on Bert, is Chris going to get a storyline? Uh, another character I just happen to love. No pun intended that his first name happens to be Chris. But <laughs> um, do you think we'll get to see any more of him? Is he going to stay uh, loyal to Miyagi-Do? Is he going to turn heel? Is he going to turn to Cobra Kai? Any predictions there? He's gonna be, no. He's going to stay loyal. He'll stay yeah, loyal. I, I think he'll stay loyal. I, think, okay. I don't think is meant to have like a huge story arc honestly Correct. right yeah Correct. i get you it's like there's levels of like side characters there's like little red and big red who never speak and then there's like you know chris and mitch who like get some you know punch lines every now and again and then yeah so getting up yeah. to um a more main level of course would be dimitri do you think what's dimitri's storyline going to be this because i'm actually kind of put a lot of thought into this one and dimitri's yeah. one of my favorite characters um, mm-hmm. I feel like him and Yasmin are going to break up this year and that's going to send Dimitri's storyline off and like that could lead to him joining Cobra Kai maybe. Oh, okay. It would be hard to I see it. Like... I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. But Silver, you know, he would never join Kreese's Cobra Kai, but maybe he could get seduced into Silver's. I don't think he could handle I... the training. That would be interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that he's going to be sort of like the moral compass for Miguel and uh, Robbie. I think he's going to be the one that's going to sort of get them to come back together for whatever reason. I think after all the shit he's been through, he sort of kind of gets what they are going through, and he's kind of. I feel like he's on the other side of that already. After last season, he kind of grew a lot as a character. Well, and, and I think that. Also, he he saw what Cobra Kai did to his best friend. Right. They broke his arm too. I mean, like, yeah, I, mean, like right. I, I do not see him joining Cobra Kai whatsoever. I could see him maybe like teaming up with Anthony on, on like you know you talk about the computer thing or whatever like that. I, I could see him I like maybe storyline. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think the well another theory that's possible, you know, because he was kind of not seen in the one shot in the Miyagi Do backyard. Um, another pop potential theory is because I see it looks like the other dojos are going to be a lot more involved in this season. Locust Valley Karate, Topanga Karate. You saw Devin wearing the Topanga uh, gi. Um, yeah, it looks like shots. they fold into Cobra Kai though. It looks like he, cutting edge like Cobra. Buys, yeah, cutting edge Karate. Yeah. Looks like he probably buys their dojos. He probably does. Uh, and says, "Look, I want to turn these into Cobra Kai dojos. You'll get a lot more students." And everyone's really like, "Oh, okay," you know. And it looks um, like when they have the map, and they're saying like he's taking these, and I, I'm mm-hmm. thinking like they're gonna start mapping out like and taking, okay, well he's got that dojo. Let's take this dojo and turn it right. to Miyagi Do, and you know. So I think they're trying to. I think the game plan now is to try to buy up dojos. It's almost like a monopoly. All across the valley. Exactly. We're going to put Cobra Kai. Oh, look, he's just doing what he's been telling us. He's been wanting yeah. to do and finally. Yeah. You know? yeah. Season three yeah. dream, except he doesn't have to teach for free. Right. And he doesn't have <laughs> right. to, like, he doesn't have Kree standing in his way, basically. Right. Uh, I mean, but you're so right, though, Styles, when you said that, you know, they created a golem with him. And now this season, it's just he's unleashed. He's full on fucking silver. Yeah. Quit he's silver. Like, yeah. And, and Kree is on ice. Silver. To sort he may, of he keep might him on not check. be. Oh, sorry. What? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying. Chris, you know, he's in prison, so he, he he's on ice, plot armor wise. You know what I mean? Cre- so it's all that- Chris's fault. All Chris's fault. Be careful what you wish for. I mean, it's also all Johnny's fault. If you go back to season one, like yeah. you know, he sort of stuck the lightning rod in Chris that like awakened that monster. That monster awakened an even bigger monster, and mm. Silver might find a way to awaken an even even bigger monster. Who knows? Maybe Mike is uh, a much worse character than uh, we remember him being. Uh, In a Mike weird Barnes. way, like, Cobra Kai is all about daddy issues. For it's sure, like, I mean, it's literally like Crease was Johnny's daddy kind of thing. Sil- Crease was Silver's daddy, you know, like kind of like thing. So it's like it's yeah love these daddies i <laughs> love these daddies. Season five is 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 daddy season <laughs> oh my god yeah the season of the dad 
daddy there were, daddy issues i'm i'm here it's also <laughs> like it's also like dad service and i mean that in the best way right like you know, for like 35, 40 year old dads, they get to see Chosen and Johnny fight again. They get to see Mike Barnes come back. They get to see Terry Silver, you know, being fucking Honey, Terry Silver. Get yeah. my beer. Get my yeah. beer. Chosen's yeah. on. Yeah. Get, my get, get my banquet. Yeah. yeah bring exactly, my banquet. Right? <laughs> so, so we touched upon this a little bit, but what do you guys think is going on with Devin? Um, it's obviously, Johnny shuts down Evil Eagle Fang. We see her wearing a Topanga gi. But then she apparently seems to have joined Cobra Kai. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot mm. about Devin. You forgot about Devin? <laughs> I forgot about Devin. Mm. Devin was one of my favorite uh, new additions in season four. Um, I I was like, this is a really cool character. She kind of has like Johnny's personality, but somewhat filtered through like a you know young teenage girl. It's like, how are they gonna play this character out? Um, she wants to get better. Like she like literally like, you know, that's yeah. her whole MO is getting better. So she may, she may, you know, she may take Tori's place. Yeah, that's a good Because like, possible. you know, when they're when they're going through the whole like, yeah. you know, I need you to to identify who's you know, who who who's are ready. The, who's ready. It may be her. She's that yeah, she like, said she never makes the same mistake twice. And it seems mm-hmm. like it almost seems like Kim Dae-hoon's hitting her with the thing. She's like, get off them. Like, maybe get off your heels or get off your toes or something. Mm-hmm. She hit her in the foot. Like, you mm-hmm. know, that's definitely a mistake that Devin said harder. Like, harder. Is that what she like, said? Harder? Harder. When she hits yeah, Tori? Yeah, harder. Oh, she's, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's she why had... she's not hitting her hard enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, like, he wants her to get the shit out of her. Oh, yeah. right, right. I well, think that, that probably, I, I think that hits hard home to Tori, to Tori's home life a little bit. Abusive kind of back you know she is kind of a shitty home wife mm, right. so i think that's going to be sort of the, sh- the final straw for her she's not going to be into that i think there's going to you know and i, I think they're going to probably answer a lot of tours questions what's going on with her and her mom you know and i, I think, think that's so. going to get yeah i think it's going to get finally a sort of she's going to sort of because she's kind of been on the fence just you know chaotic neutral sort of the whole time i think they're going to kind of really push her to be at some point, she's going to be like just a full-on good character. Well, I, I think, think there is season. a scene at at the the water park. You see her sitting right next to Robbie on the on the little mm-hmm. like uh, the little uh, chairs, beach chairs. Okay, they're obviously so trying, they're obviously seemingly, communicating, yeah, seemingly trying to work through their rival dojo issues. Um, you know, and we'll get into more. You know, a little bit more of of theories that i have there um i do think tori's mom's gonna die this year because i think the seed was planted for that last year and i think that's yeah, part of how it. i think that's part of how silver will sort of you know keep her in cobra kai and keep her from you know because i think she's ready to quit in like episode one or two you know yeah. of this year but then he does his silver magic well what if i could make you a sensei and you could support your your brother and you could support your mother and you could not have to worry about your shitty aunt like i'll get her locked up i'll you know i don't think that'll sure she stays you know. i don't think that'll do it i think i think he's probably gonna literally lie to her and say that you know he's trying to get crease out or something i don't know i don't think she's gonna be upset about crease i think she's gonna be oh, upset i think she's about- totally gonna be upset, upset about crease crease is her daddy yeah, I mean that's a good point there. That's, <laughs> that's true. The father daughter thing. She definitely had uh, more of a bond with Chris. Uh, to be fair, to be fair. Um, so what about Hawk? <laughs> What's gonna go on with Hawk this year? Ooh, Hawk. Hmm. Hawk and Moon are back together. Yeah, that's um, a great couple. Hawk and Moon. I think Hawk stays loyal to Miyagi Do. You see a little tussle oh, with yeah. him in the in the latest trailer. Kenny looks to land a good one on <laughs> on yeah. Hawk in the face. Um. And then I think what you see later is Robbie pushes Hawk into the pool after that for some reason. Robbie kind of interferes to sort of stand up for Kenny because Kenny. Kenny's the young one and it's like a little brother to him. Um, and then Miguel he's gets trying to help it. him. He's trying, you, to, you, yeah. he's trying to pull him away from Cobra Kai. You can sort of piece together that scene because there's a still clip too of a lifeguard walking Miguel and Robbie out like, mm-hmm. you guys are done. Get out of here, you know? Mm-hmm. Um and then maybe Johnny meets them in the parking lot, you know, or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. And again, that fight is going to be one uh, definitely I'm looking forward to. So, Miguel, 
the Mexico trip. What are our predictions? I hope it's over. I hope they get it done and over fast, unless they have some sort of cool story going on down there. I just feel it just feels like a distraction from the main story, just the the subplot of this. And I don't know. I just hope it's as interesting as the main plot, because I feel like you know they have to take care of whatever they need to take care of and get get back. You know, it just seems like oh, we gotta go rescue Miguel and get him back real quick. And so I don't know. Hopefully they they you know that's one of the things the show does well is is they exceed your expectations, but then they also, you know, they also subvert them too, which they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming out of left field. And I, you know, hopefully that's what I'm thinking. They're going to do something like that where no one saw something coming where it's like, okay, that's entertaining enough. I like that. Well, we'll I think maybe, maybe he doesn't ever find his dad, but you see, you know I mean? In previous trailers or whatever that you've seen Johnny at the, like the ultimate fighting, you know, uh, you know, Mexico uh, championship going on over there or whatever I can say be. So, you mm. know, like, you know, that's where they're going to find Miguel, basically. Like, maybe, like, I don't know how it happens, but I feel like I'm with you on the, I feel like maybe one or two episodes in Mexico and then they're back. But obviously that's not a long enough time for Robbie and Miguel to settle their issues. All right. right. I just hope it doesn't feel like it drags on too long. I don't think they're going to drag it on long. I I think what's going to happen is because, you know, basically, I think like what what prompt one of the things that prompted Miguel to go was because realizing that kind of realizing that like Johnny's true loyalty was always going to be to Robbie because that is that he issues. And um and but I think Johnny's ultimately going to be the one who goes down to Mexico. I think Miguel will probably, I don't know if he'll find his dad, but I think he'll at least find out who his dad is. And he's going to realize why his mom purposely like kept him away from his dad. Cause she mentioned in the first season that he's a bad dude. Not a guy is not a good person. Mm-hmm. So I think that, and then I think Johnny will go down there and you know they'll have a nice little like daddy moment like daddy son moment and you know and he'll convince miguel to come back or maybe he lies to him maybe he maybe he like you know through his mom too like they come up with this scheme and he goes you know there finds miguel miguel has not found his dad yet and he's in search of him because he's heard he's going to be at this place or whatever case may be and johnny says like listen i got to tell you something your dad's dead yeah i i I see it more I don't know I I just I feel like it's gonna be more like you know she already she already alluded to his dad being a bad person and I think maybe Miguel will somehow see that for himself and realize he you know he needs to go home but I think Johnny will go down and get but I don't think she alluded that to him to Miguel she alluded that to Johnny Johnny yes but I think Miguel is going to find, is going to see it. He's going to find it out. Yeah. And Mm -hmm. he will probably go down and rescue him and and bring him back. Mm -hmm. It's definitely some rescuing going on. They're going to have a nice like daddy son moment. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be here for it. With with Robbie on the Exactly how they pull that off. Cause I don't feel like they would do a full on kidnapping, you know? No, no, no. I don't know. When I say rescue, that's, that's a very like loose term. I don't think he's gonna get kidnapped by the cartel or anything. I, mm. I really hope not because that's uh, we don't need to go into that too. No, that's that's too long of a story because <laughs> yeah. that like, that's like oh yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. Now you gotta Johnny rescue him and oh. <laughs> yeah, that Johnny would probably be. Like, all the senseis have to come down to Mexico to help Johnny fight the cartel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a well, minute. Only, only Terry on. Silver, only Terry Silver could move mountains in that world for sure. <laughs> There's no way that like Johnny would be out there taking taking the cartel on in, himself with Robbie. It's like no, nah, ain't so, gonna happen. So moving down the list, is Moon gonna get into the action this year? Will she ever fight? Do you think we'll ever see it? He doesn't like violence. I know, yeah. but Miyagi Do is like not about violence. It's so perfect for for Moon. I think and she'll now, train just to protect herself, but I don't I don't see her getting in, involved in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, Moon's pretty much there to be a comic relief character as well. 
Mm, um, you know, uh, let's all get some brunch. We don't need to punch. Um, one yeah, of my favorite yeah. moments <laughs> in the show. Yeah. Um, so I guess Nate kind of falls in the line with Bert. He's probably not going to get much of a storyline. Um, do you think we will see Nestor, you know, get razzed by Terry Silver again this year? Nestor being the quickie mark guy, if you're not sure who that is. Nestor, yeah, that was yeah. funny. I hope so, because that was hilarious. Yeah. I hope so too. Yeah. I like the character of Nestor. Um, certain characters that you know you just like what you want to see come back. Like I need to see homeless Lynn back. Um, I feel like she's she got always oh, probably... she was there, she's but she's like didn't my get... favorite. Yeah, oh, the best. I need her to get um some dialogue this year. Um, like even yeah, just yeah. hey, you know, I'll throw a shoe at you, like <laughs> shit like that. Right, great. right. She's I just want to just eat. So they try to. I think they try to incorporate her in in one way or another. But she's in jeopardy now because they're leaving that dojo. So mm -hmm. that is her fucking corner. Like that word in terms of yeah. With with are we? You know, I hope we don't lose Nestor or Homeless Lynn because damn, I feel like that's the center of the karate verse right now. I feel like Johnny's gonna pick somebody up in his Uber. Like he's doing Ubers now. Like I, I feel like he's yeah, gonna pick somebody fan. up yeah. right next to her, and she's gonna be like, "You're doing Uber now," and something, something. That, yeah, of course, that would be hilarious. Just eating a burrito. Uh, uh, I want don't don't get burrito. in a car with that guy. Don't get in a car with that guy. <laughs> it would also That's be one of my favorite lines. Johnny says, "That's how money works. You can buy what you want. That's how money works." Oh yeah, I want <laughs> I, meth and a burrito. Yeah. I really yeah. like his, his his line for like you know he dropped the guy off. He's like one star because the car smells like beer. <laughs> he saw. Guess what? It is beer, asshole, or whatever. He said. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although you know what? Is there I a Michael it. here? Is there a Michael here? <laughs> yeah. as, as much as I love. <laughs> As much as I love seeing homeless Lynn interact with Johnny, like they have a great chemistry, I would absolutely be tickled to see her interact with Daniel or Silver, just because oh, like God. it's oh, such a God. mix. Such you know what I mean? Like Johnny <laughs> right. knows how to talk in homeless Lynn's world, you know. Like Daniel right, and Terry, right. they don't know what you know. She would take yeah. the piss out of them so good; it would be outstanding. Um, mm. Silver would like want to do something like surviving the game, like pay her a bunch of money to hunt her or something. Mm -hmm. Like he's, crazy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, it'd be like I'll give you all the meth and all the burritos you want for life if I could yeah. just hunt you. Yeah, yeah. right in the woods Hunt's for the weekend. Excursion. Yeah, we're gonna drop right. you off in the woods, and we're gonna hunt you. <laughs> or, or um, like, or like get her cleaned up and and tell her to go to Miyagi Do to train just so she can be like a spy. <laughs> oh, that would be <laughs> dude. Oh my god, that would be so funny. Uh, but then, like, great. she actually so falls in love with Mike Miyagi Do, and like, you know, they take her in, and she becomes she a sensei, the and she's got money. Dude, now. oh my god! <laughs> dude. I'm telling you, homeless Lynn is Mike Barnes' biological mother. I know, it. I know it to be so. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, Mom, I, what are you doing out here? <laughs> I really don't think any of that kind of stuff is coming, but goddamn, I, you know, I would be here for anything they do with Homeless Lynn as long as uh, they. The stuff that happens though when you let a show go too long. Yeah, it could jump to shark. Homeless yeah. Lynn being a sensei I would jump to shark. I want to see it do that. So I'm kind of yeah. like, I actually do hope, unless I, I just don't see how they could take it past a season. So, I mean, who knows? Maybe I'll see season five and my mind will be changed, but I don't see them being able to take it much further while maintaining creative integrity. Um, like, no one ever wants to see, like, their favorite show end, but I want the shows I like, I want them to end with, with dignity on their terms and not ending because like the walking I never mm. told them that they have to be over, mm. you know? The only way I could see that happening is if the if it if it changes from Cobra Kai to another name and it's literally the kids. It's literally just like you know I mean, Degrassi, you know, the next generation. Like, yeah, exactly. Style. It's just Anthony Daniel and... Daniel's not in it. Johnny's not in it. I just don't Well there's only so I... much. Yeah. The kids are now like thirty five. There's only so much more they can 
taking two with these kids. This is true, but Stranger Things. So I mean, the you know the 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 kid actor, the teen actors. Well, most of them are actually adults, but they're great. Yeah. Um, I personally don't see those characters being able to carry a show. Personally, no, me neither. Yeah, yeah. You need you need Billy Zapka, especially you you need Billy Zapka. Um, Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I just. I think the characters are great as, you know, an ensemble. I don't see any of them carrying a show on their own. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, it's, like, it's true, but like, I, I could also see them maybe well, trying to do that, sp- especially Netflix and, and the issues that they have. I yeah, could see. I mean, we're I, just speculating. Yeah. So moving uh, down again, the list of the young characters, uh, Robbie. What do you think happens with what, you know, they obviously he goes to Mexico with Johnny. He doesn't mend the fences with Miguel, but he joins Miyagi-Do and there's plenty of shots in the newest trailer of them training together at Miyagi-Do. Yeah. So maybe their little apartment fight finally ends their rivalry. Um, it, it could, it could end yeah. up doing, it could, it could end up doing that. I, I mean, you I see, hope- they're gonna, they're gonna have a, a reconciliation. They're gonna, they're gonna end up being, Maybe not all the way bros, but, you know, because obviously there is still a, a love triangle thing or not even really. I think at this, at this point, Robbie may have started to move away and, and, and Tori is the girl. Um, yeah, him and Tori, you know, started hooking up in the last season. So. Exactly. So, but I think, I think he's still like, you know, he's still pissed off that, you know, you know. I got to say, I like Robbie and Tori as a couple. I'm like I'm hard. Yeah, I love it. Like, I love it. You know, I'm rooting yeah. for them. Like on all the, of all the couples on the show, I'm rooting for them to like keep it together throughout this next season. Yeah, I think Sam and Miguel, they're entering some dangerous waters because I think uh, Sam's gonna feel very slighted that Miguel wasn't there cheering her on when she like she did for him at the tournament. He just he like oh you had to bail right now, you can't wait like right. fucking five minutes. You know, no, you gotta Uber I- out of here. Yeah. I think she. I think she'll understand. I, I, think I understand, understand that, but then if it's not that, then she'll be pissed that he took off for a couple of weeks and didn't say anything. She's like, "Well, maybe I would have wanted to go with you. Maybe blah blah blah." You know. But they could end up breaking yeah. up just, just in general, just from the fact that, like, you know what? There's just too much here that's not certain, or whatever the case may be. But I don't know. I mean, I, I get. I like. I I love the character Miguel, but I almost like felt like last season was so uneven for him like i felt like it was just like you know it started here and and then it went here a little bit with his character and it's obviously the ebbs and flow of the of the of the season this and that but i feel like he's gonna start off like such on a downer for this season like he's gonna be like right here and that's not gonna be somewhere where sam is you know, I think Sam uh, is more going to be kind of Sam's he's more aggressive. Kind of a... She's turned more aggressive now. So I, th- I feel like, you know, she's going to be more like we got to get Cobra Kai. We got to do this, whatever. And Miguel's going to be like, eh. you know, like I'm so over this, you know. Maybe, but maybe something happens in Mexico that reignites his interest in what's going on in the valley. Well, Johnny. It could be Johnny, it could be just Johnny being there, but again, it might all connect some way. Um, because you're right, how do you get Miguel from like, I don't know what I'm fighting for, to like, mm-hmm. oh, I'm training in uh Miyagi Do with my mortal enemy Robbie? Like, he's got to care to do that. Mm-hmm. Um, so something is going to happen somewhere along the line. Um, or it could just be, you know, still hating Kyler. <laughs> um, but again, I'm always looking kind of where these next rivalries are going to be. Like, is it going to be? Kyler and Hawk, are they going to play that rivalry? Maybe Kyler and Dimitri, um, you know, how, you know, sort of how does that line up? Um, Because the rivalries are a big part of what's fun on the show. Like the Sam Tory rivalry has probably Mm -hmm. run its course. Um, Yeah, this point. And I'm still pissed that Aisha never got a rival back when she was on the show. I love the character of Aisha. Mm -hmm. Um, I know. I hope they bring her back. I I'm glad they visited her last season. That was nice. Yeah. But I hope they I hope they give her a little bit more meat of meaty. I almost role, feel like know? if she would have had a rival, if she would have kept on Cobra Kai, her rival would have been Sam. 
Maybe. Aisha I, 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 th- I think they would have like omitted the. I mean, like Tori and Aisha would have been against Sam in a way. But mm-hmm. like, I, I feel like like that's like the ultimate, like, you know, your best friend turning on you. Maybe it would have been Yasmin, you know, it's like Yasmin would have gotten into the fold. That's the Shawn Michaels, <laughs> Marty Jannetty of Cobra Kai. <laughs> Oh, the Rockers, one of the greatest tag team duos ever. Uh, There's definitely a lot of wrestling love uh, thrown into this show. Um, So speaking of um, such and character cameos returns, do you think we'll see Sean Payne back? He's one that people have been like theorizing about ever since we saw him in season three. Wait, it's Kenny's Tom. older brother who was in juvie with uh yeah. oh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Rob, Robbie's friend basically because Robbie helped him yeah. out. Interesting. Um, you may, I mean, maybe he runs into Crease. I mean, they're juvie. No, he gets transferred. Yeah, he ages out, gets transferred to to, to adult prison. Maybe that would be interesting. Yeah, I never, I wouldn't have so. thought of it that way. Um. So or maybe five... maybe like the like the you know the older cats visit the juvie you know cats to try to like the scared straight shit or whatever like that. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Um, or maybe the he gets released, joins up with Robbie's old like. Uh, joins uh, up with his brother. Yeah. Or yeah, or yeah, Robert. I have another crew. theory. And those guys join sober guy. I have too. another theory, and like you know, obviously you have all those senseis, but they're secondary characters in a way. You know, outside of uh, uh, the the main sensei, which is obviously um, Master, you know Kim's like potential daughter or whatever the case you want to call right. it. Um, they're secondary characters. So who who better to take on these other senseis? Johnny's boys, the the ones that are left. The OG Cobras. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that. I doubt. I hope so too. They got. I hope they bring back the. Uh, so and then maybe the in that in that sense you do get Mike Barnes back. And then if you want to see the redemption, maybe Mike Barnes joins. You know, Daniel. Dude, that's what I'm. That's kind of what I'm thinking. The from the take all the not seeing that. Barnes, the more I don't see Barnes, the more I think he might be a good guy. You know, if he was going to come back and and uh, give Daniel that black eye that we saw in the trailer, I feel like they may you know tease that. A little bit they may hint at that um and they're not really dropping any of those kind of hints um and again that image he looks fearful and he looks kind of like he's seeing terry silver and yeah like terry silver like fucked up his young adult light and he was 17 years old and this guy Could like be. promised yeah. him the right. world yeah because i cannot imagine that like him and terry silver left things on good terms after no way episode. yeah well i'm sure right. like you know like dustin said like well i hope that we get like some Obviously, we're gonna have to have that. Like, what happened after Karate Kid Three, with Barnes? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Right. Yes. No question. But about I it. hope that's that's the it flashback. It would be cool too if we get a, yeah, like you're saying, a showdown between yeah. the senseis and then all the old Cobra Kai guys. Yeah, that but now, do fun. you get that? Like, here's the thing. Oh, that'd do be you get that in five, or do you get that in six? Because I think you have to uh-huh. leave something in the tank, and I feel like it's gonna get unresolved. And I feel like no, right. that, that that's a perfect like cliffhanger for five and six. That's goes that's, from that's there. That's a good question. Yeah. What what is the cliffhanger? Because they always give us one. So is it gonna be something like that, or is it gonna be some other cast member? Who, and I don't know who it's gonna be at this point. It's like it's Hillary Swank, and I and I think the audience is pretty much split down the middle. Maybe maybe even more. 70 40 or something if they want to even bring her back i don't know most people don't want her back i think i, I think Personally, you only I do that care. if it's ending you know yeah um, yeah i, I mean yeah know. that would be a, a fair way to end it to be like oh miyagi does gonna continue in the, the valley one. and this is who's gonna run it now but Three like years, again you know? she's if if daniel son cannot train cannot teach miyagi do there's only two other people that know miyagi do well, well, I tell you, Chosen's thing, already Chosen's already there. It's so teed up perfectly to have Chosen say, "We do not honor bet with coward," um, oh. especially when he finds out when they find out that Terry cheated because that's a coward move, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it really and, rings true. And but that like, could be season six, yeah. all, all new, you know, uh, all Valley Karate, you know. Tournament. I don't know. It's weird. Chosen, you know. Oh, sorry. No, no, I was just gonna say, Chosen has his boys the rematch would be season six mm-hmm. I think they're going to be battling it out this whole season 
and then it somehow i mean because tori knows that it was rigged now so um i don't know when they're actually when that's going to be revealed revealed to everybody else um but Mm. i think the six will probably have to be about the rematch between her and the tournament you mean yeah between her and sam yeah, or they'll just be like, oh, well, you cheated, so you guys are disqualified, and, uh, you know, Miyagi-Do won. So there you go, the end. Well, th- then that whole, that whole, that institutes Daniel and Johnny back into, they can, they can be senseis again. Right. Based on the bet. Right. Yeah, that's the thing. When you cheat, the bet's off, you know. Terry that Silver bet cheated. Was, that bet was a bet that they made. That wasn't actually the All Valley saying, like, if Miyagi-Do, no, and he not, can, yeah. you know, so... So that's something that they're just they're just honoring, which yeah. I don't even know. Like I mean, like to be honest, like, I, I don't even know why they would honor that against. A technically, somebody. they never. Technically, they never really agreed to it. Um, they mentioned it a few times, but it's just at the end of season three. It's if we lose, we go. If you lose, we won't lose. Um, and then later they're like, "Remember the deal? If we lose, you you lose. You're done teaching for good." It's like, mm-hmm. wait a minute, that was not the deal. That didn't. Okay, I guess it is now. Um, but so again, I think that it's weird. I'm trying to figure it out because in the trailer, Daniel's clearly shutting it down. I'm shutting down Miyagi Do. Dad, that can't be your plan. Well, it's on me to settle this. Um, well, then why'd yeah. you bring Chosen in? Wouldn't are you just gonna keep it going but call it, you know, Kaguchi Do or something, you know, Sato Do? Um no, you could still call it Miyagi. Do. I mean, the thing, the bet was yeah. like you you don't teach anymore, but it's not like nobody can teach Miyagi. Do. Exactly, of course, of course. So I feel um, like that's it. I like the line that Terry gives him, like saying, like you know, you sure you want to go down this road because your life's never going to be the same again, you know, kind of deal. That's a ballsy threat, and again, just a great Terry Silver moment. And if you look at Daniel by the end of the trailer. He looks like his whole world is broken, right? Really? Yeah, he has the picture of his family, basically. And she, his hair I think, is messed I think up. What she he says, hasn't shaved. I think when she says, like, then handle it, I think she's, like, literally walking out on him. I think she's just like, I'm not doing this anymore. Harry I don't know. Healed his entire family. <laughs> no, what yeah. Is- Terry Silver's now, here, here, you know, <laughs> like, new Sam, daddy. new daddy. <laughs> yeah. Well, it. I mean, you do see Sam fighting in a Cobra Kai dojo. You do see uh, Terry offering Amanda a glass of wine. Um, do you, I assume that that is like some sort of fundraising thing at Terry Silver's house early in the season? Because uh, you see those clothes that Amanda's wearing, that like fancy red dress, uh, like another relevant scene, like it seems to be mm-hmm. early on. Um, mm-hmm. One of the things that's my biggest mystery too I got to say is there's a still photo from the still drop from last week where it's Amanda and Carmen in uh, the Russo house and they look very worried and they're both looking in the same direction. And it's like, what the fuck is going on in that shot Mm. is, you know, Mm. and I, I don't know, I'm going to go out on a wild, wild, wild theory here, but Terry Silver doesn't make threats. He can't keep. So I think he's going to be going after uh, LaRusso autos um, at certain point. Maybe buys um, loose or autos. I think, you know, there's plenty of ways Terry could fuck with Daniel's business. Mm-hmm. Um, he's going to try and fuck with Daniel's everything. His marriage, you know, just like back in the day, yep. you know, um, he's going to try and fuck with kids, his kids, everything. everything. And like, I was trying to dissect where it seems like Daniel and Silver are going to square off in the final trailer. And it looks like they're not in a dojo. It looks like they're in a house. And it doesn't quite look like the LaRusso house. And it doesn't quite look like Terry Silver's house. It sort of looks like a different house. You see curtains on the walls and shit. And you see like boxes, it looks like, you know. Like so maybe she kicks, moving something. Maybe yeah, she kicks like, them out. Maybe she kicks, knows, like, but, like I said, like maybe like, you know, they're, you know, she says handle it, but they're separate. They separate or whatever like that. Daniel's got a new like, you know, apartment or whatever like that or something like that. I don't know, but uh I'm could hoping that be too. like this could even be like the same like house or apartment or whatever like that from part three or something. I don't know. Maybe Kumiko returns and visits Chosen or something and tweaks Amanda Ooh. even more or something. I don't know. Um, a variety, a variety of things could happen. 
Um, so, uh, you know, again, I want to rapid fire down the adult side of the list. Um, and you guys just stop me if you have a theory or anything. Uh, you know, Anoush, Amanda, um, obviously we talked about that, some going on there. Armand, I don't know if we'll see Armand, possible. Bobby, I think there's a fair chance, 50-50, that we see Bobby. I hope Bobby comes back, yeah. Mm. I hope so, too. Carmen and Johnny, do they break up? Do they stay together? No, they stay together. You think they stay together this year? I, th- I think they stay together. I, th- I think their relationship is like uh, is probably better than the, the, Rus- the Russo's relationship right now. Fair enough. Um, Chosen, any um, any theories uh, with Chosen? What does he do when he's not, uh, you know, cleaning his sigh and, and training karate? Does he, like, does he get, like, I any kind of a social really... story arc or anything? I don't know. I think we're really just going to get sort of, like, the militant side of Chosen this season. Because, you know, well, you remember. get a glimpse of training military guys, you know, yeah. and kids too. And, uh, right. Remember, you he know, taught I... Daniel things that Daniel didn't know about Miyagi-Do. So yeah. he's probably right. got like a lot of things oh, that yeah. that Daniel didn't know that he's going to institute and teach these kids. So right. I think uh, he's going to be sort of this. I think he's probably the funniest one too. Yeah. What's yeah, that, Melanie? I bet he's going to have a. No, no, I was just saying maybe Chosen will stay in America, and. Uh, yeah. No, I don't know what I don't I know like where he's with his character except he's just badass and. You know, yeah, not to do anything. He's chosen. He just He's the chosen one. one. You're like, oh. He could bring I, his boys over. So they, so you got yeah. like Johnny's boys. Yeah. You got Chosen's boys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that That's may be what's talking. going on too in some of the trailers and stills. There's clearly like a bunch of guys with clipboards and people like looking at Miyagi Do train and it seems like some of them are the same people in the Cobra Kai possible tournament fighting or like secret tournament that's going on later it looks like some of those faces are in both of those scenes so i'm kind of like an underground like uh yeah like you know to me a lot of depends on like what episode does daniel find out that terry silver cheated you know we find out in episode one does he find out episode three episode five you know it's obviously that's going to be like a big turning moment for the good guys so when Daniel yeah, I think finds it's that whenever out, he's going to step on the gas. What's up? I think it's whenever. Yeah, I think it's whenever Tori. Yeah, makes they're not going to. They're not going to find you out know? until Tori says it. Yeah. Right. Because she's the only one who really knows, right? Besides, you know. Yeah, and she may. Her, I mean, obviously. she may even tell Robbie, but like, she may say, like, "Look, just keep this between us." You know, I'm just trying to figure this thing out. And Robbie, could happen. Robbie's a loyal dude. He wouldn't say. He wouldn't snitch, and he wouldn't be like. Yo, she just told me that they cheated. He'd be like, "All right, you know, I'll, I'll keep it." And that could, could even also... be something that causes more rift between him and Miguel, because maybe somehow it does come out, and Miguel finds out about it too, and he's like, "You're holding this, and you know, whatever, like that." And then eventually, it just you know fizzles out, and they, they become bros. Well, I can see Tori telling Priest, Priest telling Johnny. Johnny telling Daniel, you know, a little bit of a telephone game, but like I could definitely see, you know, um, Tori visiting Crease in prison. If anyone's going to oh, do sure. it, it would, I guess would probably have to be her. For Although sure. It could, could just be Silver just for the fucking sheer delight of it to him, just to oh. like sit there and smile, you know, as he talks to the glass. Well, he could, they, you I know. mean, Silver could threaten Tori in a lot of ways. Yeah. So sure. he could keep her away from the jail by just saying, like, look, you tell anybody, number one, you got no more, you know, home for your mom or whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. Number two, you know, I'll ruin your life. You know, number three, like, you know, Crease will never get out of jail. And well, I think first things first, when Crease does get out, he's going straight to Tahiti to go and hook up with my mom. <laughs> uh, I, know. I know. I know. <laughs> a lot of a lot of talk in the chat about Amanda and Silver. Um, you know, that's kind Amanda of surprising so, to me. Oh man. Amanda that's sort Silver. of like wow, the, I, didn't see, I didn't see that coming, but the chat is man, wild. It's like uh, fifty shades could, of gray type shit. I could I could see it happening. I could see it happening if she's trying 50 to set him up. Silver, dude. Oh shit, Styles. What do we do, dude? <laughs> I'm sorry what were you saying mickey 
No, I mean, I, mean, I could see her. I could see her trying to in, entrap him in some way or whatever like that. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I wouldn't have thought of that. Um, but Amanda is very smart. Um, I wouldn't put it past Amanda to play a very key role um, in the way the Karate War shapes up or shapes out or whatever the term would be. And and that um, could end up pissing off Daniel when he's like, you know, like, what are you doing mm-hmm. talking to Terry and this and that, whatever. Oh, for sure. Why'd you go to that party? Yeah, he's going to be a dick about that because he's, he's been a dick about things like most of the time, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, he's not going to like that she went to the Terry Silver house party and had, you know, Chardonnay with him. Um, you broke bread with that dude? <laughs> yeah. You, yeah <laughs> you, uh, just by being there, you make him look like a fucking legitimate guy, you know? And that um, could be like... Let me and Chosen and handle Carmen. this. You see him in the trailer fighting yeah. about it, you know? Her um, and Carmen go to the, the, the event or whatever case may be. Could be, could be. Um, speaking of the Larusos, are we going to see Louis or Lucille this season? Any uh, predictions there? I love Lucille. We've seen her every season. I don't know how we're, you know, you never know when it's going to come or how it's going to happen. But Daniel and Amanda probably having some problems. I could see Lucille, uh, you know, coming back around for some sage advice. Um, she's always been there for Daniel. Um, he could. I hope so. He could end up going to her house and staying there for a couple of days or whatever. That's possible. Um, the the uh, shit between I, her and uh, and Amanda just cracked me up. The little fucking nudges. The still, oh yeah, great writing. It's whatever you want, Lucille. Your house is my house. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just so fucking funny. Everybody oh, can man. relate to that stuff. Um, yeah. I hope we see fucking pawn shop guy again. I know. Shout out, shout out to some of the smaller characters. Um, and I know we're just about out of time here. Um, but Shannon, of course, uh, Robbie's mom, I think there's a Mm. more than likely chance that she returns because where is Robbie living now? Right? Like, as far as we know, he was living at Cobra Kai all of last year. Right. Um, Right. I guess he's probably going to probably going to be living with Johnny, but maybe after that Mm. fight, he goes to live with his mom. Who knows? Um, so I do see shout out to her for just for put for getting the creeps by by terry silver not accepting the money and going warning johnny mm-hmm. you know, oh yeah that was, definitely i thought that you know that was that was good writing too because they could have easily made her character just a dumb idiot you know but they yeah, yeah. Like, i think she's know, i they, think he's living i think he's living with johnny because that 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 fight with him and miguel seems like it's happening at the apartments yeah definitely mm-hmm. um yeah. so last on the adult list i guess um I think that we'll have to deal with Sid at some point, um, address the fact that, you know, Ed Asner has passed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's going to change Johnny's life because he obviously still has to be an Uber, Uber driver. So I don't think Sid's going to leave Johnny any cash. Um, but maybe the twist that he does, he does. Maybe, maybe that could be something that happens later in the year. Um, mm-hmm. Although I don't think they're going to deal with death too much. And I know nah. they have some planned already this year, right? Um, I think one of them is Tori's mom. But the, I think one of the creators said, like, oh, that moment when you feel like your favorite character is going to die. Um, and that gets me to Silver, because I feel like if they're going to kill someone off a favorite character, it would probably oh. have to be him. And that would break oh. my heart because I love Terry Silver more than life itself. Yeah, but I but, don't uh, see I don't see Daniel doing that, though. No, I, I don't see I Daniel feel, doing I feel it. like Crease would do it. Probably would have to be uh. Crease. Um probably would uh and again I or don't see or that. it would be i don't it would see be that very, in season five I it would be the... very poetic though if daniel did it using something he learned from crease i've talked about this before with uh anthony ramirez mm. and matt sharp um so that's a, a way you could go like i really hope we get flashbacks of master kim young i don't want to see that silver train like, together. i don't want to see daniel kill anybody mm-hmm. Even, he uses even, Quicksilver against him. If anything, maybe someone will have a heart attack while they're fighting, but I don't think anyone's going to kill anybody. No. But will the police view it? You know, it, like, will it be the, uh, you know, Miguel accident thing where, like, we're going to have to deal with this for the first couple episodes next year? Um, so yeah, Daniel's I can see in that. Jail. You know, oh, so- you're fighting a guy. Yeah, the so guy they, had a heart attack. Well, you have, you know, his blood on your hands and, you know, his you got black eyes. And you How know, crazy would it be if, if Daniel's in jail with Crease? 
Oh man, that would be something else. Oh that man, be, that would be pretty juicy. Um, and they literally and get they, like you know put in the same cell together. And they get Joe Pesci to defend him. <laughs> <laughs> you get fucked one way or the other, kid. The uh, two youths. <laughs> the two youths. Well, the two. I think a modicum so of gratitude would be in order here. Uh, good lord, good lord. So. Um, we're almost out of time. Dream fights. Uh, anything that you're dying to see, hoping to see? Uh, wild Johnny Barnes. and Mike. Johnny, Johnny and Mike. Barnes. That's what, that is one hell of a dream fight. I'm here for it. That's what I want. Yeah. Melanie, yeah. dream fight. Um, I mean, I would love to see. I would love to see like Johnny and Chosen take on Carrie Silver. And one of his cronies, I, I don't think it's going to be Crease because Crease is in jail and who knows how long he's going to be there. Um, but I'm just excited for any fight where like Chosen and Johnny team up. And oh, God. yeah, that's, that's exciting. It's going to be great. I I'm feel really... like I'm more excited for the adult fights. Like I feel like last oh, yeah. season, I, last season were the 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 teen fights. This season we go back to the adult fights. Like yes. we see that pairing. We're gonna get some of you know the kids going off, but I just feel like this season's all about the adults. Like okay, kids, we let you have some fun. Now, now it's adult time. You know, that's <laughs> yeah. I think that's yeah. definitely true. Yeah, because um, the stakes are just so much higher. That you know, like you know, like. The, you know, kids, obviously, we, we had the, the run of Robbie going to juvie because of what he did to Miguel. But I, I feel like we're not going to go down that path anymore. But I feel like, you know, the adults now, you know, again, like you go back, like, yeah, maybe does maybe Daniel does go to jail. Maybe, maybe, you know, and, and you know, you know, because Terry has a heart attack, whatever like that. Maybe Terry doesn't die, but Terry's in a coma. Or whatever the case may be. I don't know. But interesting. I, I, I don't know. But like I, you know, I'm with Melanie too. I would love Johnny versus Barnes. Johnny versus Barnes. Yeah, that would be um, an awesome fight. Um, you know, again, not to be a broken record, it's Daniel and Silver for me. Like this is it. This is like mm -hmm. you know Luke Skywalker mm -hmm. versus the Emperor. No fucking lightning this time. You know what I mean? Like this is just like mm -hmm. the big deal. You know, Silver. I mean, Silver versus anybody is big. Like, I would, you know, shit myself just to see him fight Johnny again. You know, that was a great, that was like right. the highlight of season four for me is when Silver, like, joyfully, like, cackles, like, whoa, looks like the Russo uh -huh. defense. Huh? Like, he was pumped. He was happy that Johnny yeah. was like, holding his own. He didn't want to just yeah. wipe the floor with him. He wanted to, like, dance with him. This is like an art. Yeah. Show, you know? But I almost um, wanted that, yeah. like, too. Like, I, I originally, I wanted, Crease versus Johnny, Silver versus Daniel. So, and mm. this was before, like, I didn't, I didn't realize that they were gonna, you know, introduce Chosen in right. too. Chosen's got to have a battle. He's got to have a battle. Right. So Definitely. I think it's, and a lot of I people wonder are saying Silver versus Chosen. That's what a, I know. A lot of people want that too. And then, um, but they and have then no. Do you, see, like, no... do you see Silver killing Chosen? No, I don't no. see that. No. no. No way. I don't see. I don't think the show's gonna go in that. Mm. but that could be the heart attack Maybe. but here's the thing i'm nervous for silver only because i've seen thomas ian griffith with short hair recently and it's like wait a minute oh shit really terry silver ain't about to cut off that ponytail oh you know? shit maybe yeah, they maybe fine. they cut it off of him hawk style but like that was scary to me i saw him like with yeah. short hair i was like uh-oh oh uh, that's not good yeah, you have a good point, Melanie. It's not yeah, hard to add sad. the that's stuff in the back. I think Christensen actually had the stupid rat tail thing. In I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't. I went to high school with someone who really did. They drew the yeah. Jedi Padawan uh, do. It was hilarious. That's nasty. Well, I had a rat's tail. So. Oh well, I luckily avoided that one in the early '90s. No rat tail for me. Um, yeah. I but I don't know. Is there is there anything else that we haven't covered? Any any wild theories you want to throw in the pot, throw in the ether? Anything you want to speak into existence for this show? Well, I feel like I mean, obviously you have you know Anthony and Kenny's you know rivalry, but I feel like Kenny is now going to go up to Hawk. 
Interesting. And then uh, Anthony will have a new rival, maybe. No, I feel like he'll get in there somehow, but I, I still feel like, you know, the natural one is like Kenny's just gonna go. He's gonna go after Hawk. Hmm. He's not Although gonna see. An, he's not gonna see Anthony as a threat, or whatever like that. And he sees. I mean, like I think they're gonna build right. him up. Possible. I just, want a fun yeah. I just want a fun season. That's oh, it's definitely gonna be fun. I mean, we got a trip to the water park. I think this is, I mean, I say this going into to every season, but like, I really feel like this is going to be the most fun yet. You have an unhinged Terry Silver. You have an unshaved Daniel LaRusso. We've never seen him with five o'clock shadow looking like ready to kick ass. Yeah. Um, Miami Vice real. LaRusso. Yeah. It's getting exactly. real. Yeah. Um, it's going to get, it's going to get hardcore. Um, he's got some very, um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing everybody's like track gear in that one Miyagi Do scene. Like everyone's got different like track suits on, and I'm like, I love this. Yeah. They look like the Miyagi Do Mafia. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the track suit mafia. Yeah, Daniel's got like the velvet track suit. He looks like the fucking grandpa gangster. I'm like, I'm all for this. Um, I think yeah. every episode's gonna be a blast. Um, if there's anything left on my wish, wish list, gosh, I don't know. They'll figure out what it is. The big three will deliver. They've never failed. They're going to um, give you something. They're going to give you something that you're just like, you didn't yeah. think about. And it's going to be like, like, oh, I can yeah. have my desserts too. <laughs> I can have my Mike Barnes and Terry Silver too. I mean, Mike uh, Barnes more... alone is my, my dessert. I know that's you. You are Which probably, probably bad boy, say, but... number one fan. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one on the internet forever. But I love my, uh, <laughs> I love my porns. I'm just saying. Oh, uh, well, before, <laughs> before we wrap it up, guys, uh, is there anything you've got coming up in the works? You want to let the people know about at home? Anything at Retro Fiend or anything, uh, special edition DVD or Blu ray, Blu ray wise, you're working on, Melanie? I don't, I'm not working on. I'm working on anything. Job. Um, you know, Angela, the sleepaway camp documentary will come out someday. Someday soon, because soon is relative. So I say soon. Yeah, exactly. So, soon can be now. I By my so. imagination, yeah, it's going to be soon. A lot of people are excited about it. So I would definitely like it to be done. I am very excited about it, as is our home audience, and they hound us for info every week when you're on the live chat. Uh, we will be looking forward to it for sure. Uh, what's going on Retro Fiend land? You guys, uh, I love the Making Invaders, uh, Making Up Invaders from Mars doc. What's uh, oh, next in the pipeline you. for you guys? Um, we've got ninja stuff coming up. Um, just That's really sort of all I could say, I think, right now, working on ninja stuff. <laughs> yeah, you'll 80s yeah. ninja stuff, kind of vague, but uh, yeah, yeah, we'll see. I don't, don't want to say too much, but yeah, it's uh, we're 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 working on stuff. We got a handful of things coming out. Um, I know they're yeah. sitting on a vault. Of Chris, Chris is hard at work right now. Yeah, yeah, he's he's um, hard at work right now, just slaving away. I'm so always creating the magic. I'm always drooling over the next Retro Fiend radio drop. And uh, Mickey, anything, uh, I guess, recording a little side sidetrack and probably still no live shows? Uh, nothing right now, but like, uh, uh, I'll let you know. Right on. Well, definitely awaiting that eagerly as well. In the meantime, you fandom fans might want to come back tomorrow night at 9 p.m. when we set out in search of the perfect way for our summer school two episode. As always, if there's a particular movie, show, or streaming series you want us to cover on a future episode, let us know in the comments section below. And since you're already doing that, you might as well go ahead and like, subscribe, and follow Retro Fiend Radio, Phantom Spotlight, The Hollow Knight Network, and Pop Culture Punk. And keep your eyes and ears on the lookout for Angela the Sleepaway Doc, which we promise will come soon. Till then, back up those Betamax, rewind those laser discs, and we'll see you at the movies. 